And we're back. Both teams coming out of their respective huddles. It will be Crusader ball to start tonight's second quarter. Thalen back into the game for the Lady Crusaders to inbound to Salas. And the Cardinals come out in man-to-man. -man. No surprise there. Excellent feed into the post from Locke to Wickstrom. The shot is just off the mark, but batted out of bounds by the Cardinals. Wickstrom probably wishes she had that one back, but nevertheless, a good post seal and a good look for the Crusaders. Inbounds pass deflected by Hill. Nice play by Hill, forcing the turnover. Ball back immediately to the Cardinals. And we have traveling called on number four, McGee. Diamond McGee for the Lady Cardinals. Two quick turnovers to start this second quarter by both teams. Salas to bring the ball across half court for the Crusaders. Over to Locke on the right wing. Locke skips it to Thalen. Thalen back to Locke at the top to reset the offense. Lock drives middle, kicks out to Thalen, shot blocked by Hill, an excellent defensive recovery by number one, Deja Hill for the Cardinals. Blackshire the other way, kicks out to Hill, Hill for three, and it's good. Hill with the block on one end and the three-point make on the other, cutting the lead to one for the Crusaders, 17-16. Crusaders coming right back at you. Salas for two, 19-15. 1916, rather, Crusaders lead. A good quick response by the Crusaders. Caught the Cardinals maybe celebrating and made them pay. Good trap there in the left corner. A drive by Nash. Mastella fights for the rebound. Outlets nicely as she's falling down to Thalen. Sells to push. And good pressure defense there by number two, Nash, for the Cardinals, forcing Thalen to sail the pass out of bounds. It will be Cardinal ball on the side. <coughs> Mercedes come right back out in their 2-3 zone, this time appearing to have spread it apart a little bit. Taking up more of the court. Skip pass is deflected nicely by Mastella. Race for the loose ball. And Mastella appears to have touched it last. Good hustle by Hill for the Cardinals. It will be Cardinal ball. Mastella with a nice defensive read there, almost intercepting the pass. But for good hustle from Hill, it would have been a turnover to the Crusaders. Number 32, Tucker, has now appeared to shift over to the point guard position for the Cardinals. Blackshire moving out to the wing. McGee now with it on the right side. In the corner to Hill. Hill drives baseline, cut off nicely by Thalen and Wickstrom. Wickstrom with the rebound. And Salas will appear to be slowed up, but now push it for the Crusaders. Out to Thalen. Thalen with the... Shot fake, a good recovery by McGee to alter that shot. Wickstrom up with the offensive rebound. Lock over to Thalen again, Thalen to Salas. Salas drives baseline, cut off nicely by Blackshire, but an excellent spin move by Salas. A little one-handed scoop finish in the paint for two for the Crusaders, 21-16. Advantage for the Lady Crusaders. Five minutes to go here in tonight's second quarter. A good competitive game thus far. Back and forth a bit. Tucker with it. McGee shot fake. Good recovery by Locke. Forcing McGee to give the ball up. Blackshire tries to drive baseline. She gets caught in the air. Excellent cutoff defense by Phelan. Locke comes up with the steal. And she double dribbles with it just before she crosses half court. Questionable call, but nevertheless, it is a turnover. Stone back in for the Cardinals. She will give Blackshire a breather. And McGee to inbound to Tucker. Tucker. 
Tucker now running the offense. McGee at the top, over to Stone on the left wing. Back to McGee at the top. Crusaders, his own defense appears to really be confusing the Cardinals. Good drive middle by Hill, but excellent help by Wickstrom. She gets a hand on the shot, and Mastella comes up with the loose ball as there is a foul on number 20 for the Cardinals. Good hustle there by Mastella, coming up with the deflected shot. And the Crusaders check in number 12, Ladd, for Locke. They will give Locke a short breather. Good patience by the Crusaders, breaking the pressure. And an excellent screen by Mastella. Salas drives, kick out to Thalen. Thalen for three, and it's good. 24-16 Crusaders. That play was set up by a nice screen by number 20, Marissa Mastella, and good penetration by Locke. Shot is up for McGee, way long from deep. And we have a box out foul called on number 20, Mastella. Again, a questionable call. It appeared to be an excellent box out by Mastella. Nevertheless, she is called for the displacement foul. Hill for the Cardinal to inbound underneath the Crusaders basket. Hill into McGee. McGee drives middle, pull up, jump shot. Long off the glass. Salas with the nice rebound. Up the left side to Thalen. Thalen chases it down into Bertalone. Bertalone shot is up and deflected by Tucker, but Wickstrom is there to pick up the loose ball. In with the left hand for two. 26 16. Crusaders have pushed their lead to 10 here halfway through tonight's second quarter. Good denial there by Ladd for the Crusaders. McGee now with it, over to Hill. Hill in the corner, Stone just inside the arc. Shot is up and good. Nice looking shot by number three, Stone. Badly needed basket for the Cardinals, 26-18. Crusaders lead. Looks him decides to slow things down. And she has a bit of a lazy handoff to Salas. Nice job by the Cardinals getting a hand in there to deflect it off Salas' leg out of bounds. That will be a turnover to the Cardinal. McGee to inbound to Blackshire as she checks back in for the game for the Cardinals. Nash stuck with it on the sideline. Nice defense by Ladd. Kent Wickstrom got in the passing lane, got a hand on it for the steal. Lad is up and in, and there is body contact on the backside. It will be a two-shot foul on the Cardinals. Lad to the line for two. Nice play made there by a combination of Wickstrom on the defensive end and Lad taking it strong on the offensive end, earning the shooting foul. First free throw is up and off the mark. Second one coming. Second free throw is up and long. And we have an over the back call on Wickstrom. Nice box out by number four, Diamond McGee for the Cardinals. Wickstrom thought she might be able to out jump her on that one, but McGee had nice enough position where she wasn't able to. And the over the back foul, uh, foul was correctly called. Cardinals bringing the ball the other way. Blackshire again drives middle all the way to the rack, up and in, an excellent drive. No cutoff defense by the Crusaders. As the Cardinals have gone on a mini 4-0 run here to cut the lead back to six, 26-20. Here in the second quarter. Block kicks to a wide open lad in the corner. Jump shot is off. Nice fight for the offensive rebound. Ladd into Wickstrom. Wickstrom is up and long. Good post defense by Blackshire. McGee down with it. McGee pushes to number two, Nash. Nash is up 
and she is fouled by Locke, will go for the line for two. Nice possession there by the Cardinals. A good defensive rebound, a good quick outlet, and hit up the court to Nash. Nash attacked the basket very nicely, drawing the foul on Locke. First free throw is up and off the glass and in and out for Nash. Second free throw is off the glass. Rebound to Wickstrom. Outlet to Salas. Salas immediately up to Locke. Locke with a nice step over move. Shot is long. Fight for the offensive rebound. Off of number one hill for the Cardinal. It will be Crusader ball. Salas to inbound. Crusader is having trouble getting it in. Up top to Wickstrom, shot is up and around the rim, fight for the offensive rebound. 32, Tucker comes up with the loose ball for the Cardinal. She hits ahead to Nash, Nash is feeling it, but she is just off the mark. Ball batted around, Hill comes up with it for the Cardinal, an easy two point putback to cut the lead now to four. 26-22 Crusaders. Coach Eric Adams appears to be letting his team try to work through this tough stretch and not calling a timeout as the Cardinals have now pushed the lead or closed the lead to four. It was ten minutes ago. Good defensive recovery there by the Crusaders to earn back the possession after having turned it over. Salas easily into lock. Lock up to the left wing to Bertalone. Bertalone tries to get it down low to Ladd. Ladd back to the lock for two. Good contest by Diamond McGee. Shot is off the mark. Nice hustle by Bertalone. Tries to bat it off the leg of Tucker, but Tucker got out of the way just in time. It will be uh, Cardinal Ball on the side. Twenty-five seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Cardinals appear to be holding for a last shot. Crusaders content to sit in the zone. Now the Crusaders applying a little bit of ball pressure. Drive by McGee, cut off nicely by Ladd. McGee, or Blackshire rather, to McGee. McGee drives middle, shot is up. Good help defense, ball batted around. Shot is up at the buzzer and it is off the mark. That'll be the end of the first half as the Crusaders lead 26 to 22. A nice run there to end the first half by the Cardinal, cutting the lead from 10 to four. And a good last stop by the Crusaders to go into the halftime with a four point lead. We will take a break, come back and join us for tonight's second half of the Varsity Basketball Girls Holiday Tournament at Oak Ridge High School. First round game between Muskegon Catholic Central and Orchard View High School.